Last week was a crazy week. We beat our rivals in the number 17 team in the country, Kentucky, but this week is gonna be even tougher. Ohio State is almost 30 overalls better than us, but we do have our stud QB Mason Bean who won NCAA Player of the Week last week, so hopefully he can lead us to victory. Last week's win against Kentucky moved us up almost 50 spots, and right now we're technically sitting at the top of the conference. Before we jump into the game, we have to do a little recruiting, and week two is the biggest week for that. Unfortunately, we stand no chance at Joe Washington, and we're gonna have to remove a lot of players off our board. Now that we're down to David Harrison and Anton Cooper, we're gonna have to find a lot of new people to put on our board. Now our recruiting board is full of players that have no one going after them, so hopefully we'll be able to pick up these players so now i'm gonna go in scout all these guys and wow a gym on the first one troy brown he's a six five five star i'm not sure what we'd do with him if we were able to land him but hopefully we can oh my gosh we got another gym this time on the six three receiver terrence jackson and there's another one we are getting gyms left and right today this recruiting class could end up being our best one by far there's our first bust get off my board oh my gosh there's one gym there's another and another and another oh that last one wasn't a gym but we have a lot of solid offensive linemen we can go after now all these players right here are the players that you're going to want to keep an eye on because we're going to be putting points on them next week the big names to note are troy brown terrence jackson cody hickman and mark davis i also just found a couple more amazing gyms in dustin mccauley and brett smith if we can land some of these athletes, our program has a bright future. We're going to go into Columbus wearing our camo jerseys. It's time to hop into the game. This sizing up is just not fair. But we're starting out on defense. We're going to lock that run up all day. That's what I like to see from my defense. And they're just taking the flat. Travis Silva with the tackle. This is a huge third down right here. Come on. If we can stop Ohio State, that'd be huge. And we get the stop. I'm not sure why their offensive possession was so conservative right there. I'll definitely take it though. Jamari Brown getting to the outside. We're going to go with the read option here, and Mason Bean is going to get to the outside. What a run. Now, with the halfback screen to Robert Burns, it's not open at all. Third and 15 against Ohio State. This is not ideal, but it doesn't matter because Mason Bean rolls out, hits Bryce Oliver, and Bryce Oliver is not going to make it into the end zone, but he's still getting the big pickup for us. That was a huge play right there. We're going to throw Robert Burns Ooh. in the flats. I'm going to throw a dot to Nick Ojanovic right here. Look at that. That's a touchdown. NKU's getting on the board early, and this is the best start you could ask for against number five Ohio State. On first and 10, they're just going with the run. Come on, we have got to stop that. Here on second and nine, going with the speed option. We're going to lock that up. They did get quite a few yards, but not enough for the first down, and we're going to hold them. Our defense couldn't do a thing against Kentucky last week, but this week they're playing amazing. I'm going to hand it off to Robert Burns, and he's going to get almost the first down. Fourth and inches, we're just going to hand it off to Robert Burns, and he's going to pick it up. I really like how our team is coming out and playing so far. They have great defense right here, but Mason Bean is going to escape the pocket, and he's going to get a nice pickup. Our defense has always been the thing that's held us back, but they're coming out and playing great football today. And Adrian Nelson might be open in the seam. Here on third and 10, we're going to need to pick up the first down. I don't really see anything that's open. Come on. No. We have to punt it back to Ohio State. Good defense right there. Their QB's taking off. And we haven't brought a blitz yet, so we're going to do that. What a great play. They're going with the run. We're going to lock that up. And it looks like they're going to continue to come out and run. Halfback screen. Trayvon Faulkner with the big tackle for loss. The defense is playing well today. On third and 14, we put him in a box. Nick Young with the sack. And I'm so proud of our defense right now. Let's hand this one off to Robert Burns. And he'll pick up a couple yards. On second down, going with the read option. I made the wrong read. And now we have a pretty big third and six right here. Nick Ojanovic does look open, and oh my gosh, he wasn't. Good thing our defense is playing well, because our offense is not. This looks like a run. I was right, and we're going to stop it. Our defense has been lights out today. Here on third and 14, we're going to stop him, and we're getting the ball back again. This has been such a crazy defensive game. Jamari Brown is getting an amazing punt return for us. There's a reason he won best returner last year. Now we're going to hand this off to Robert Burns. All right, second down. They have everything in a box. Another third down. We cannot have another three and out. Tony Hines with the catch. The freshman definitely has some burners on him. Now, on this play, we're just going to roll out. Take Adrian Nelson underneath. All right, what are they giving us here? Tony Hines looks open again. And of course, he dropped it. I knew he was going to have a drop issue this year. We're going to hit Logan Farley. Pick up the first down. Come on. Now we're on fourth and five. We're out of our kicker's range. I think Adrian Nelson getting pressed over there is a mismatch, though. I'm going to throw it, and he's in a box all day. 
talk about a boring first half offensively. And they're just taking the slant underneath. I would absolutely hate to give up three at this point in the game. We have great defense. Pick it, Jamari! That was so close to being a pick six. I really thought he was going to get to that ball right there. I guess it's okay that he didn't pick that one. Come on. Our defense is locking up right now. They're just taking the slant, and that's probably going to put them in field goal range. And now they're going to take their field goal. They're finally getting on the board, but not a bad first half at all. We're playing really good football. Robert Burns is not getting anywhere on this run. It's so crucial. We don't have a bad start to this second half. Let's go. Mason Bean on the triple option. Now we're going with Robert Burns on the counter, seeing if he can get to the outside, and he's losing yards. Actually, he fought back in game two. So now we have a third and four right here. Come on, we gotta pick this up. I'm gonna throw it. Bryce Oliver is gonna catch it. He's gonna break a tackle, and he's gonna make another man miss. What a play. There's a Bryce Oliver sighting. We haven't heard from him all game, and now Mason Bean diving into the end zone. The NKU Norse are up 11 on number five Ohio State. Here on first and 10, they're just going with the halfback draw, and it's working out for them. I'm bringing the blitz here on second and five, and they burn us. I should have known that was never going to work out. I don't know what type of play this was, but Ryan Clayton can't make the tackle. Now it looks like they're running. They're actually passing right here, and we have a great defensive stop. Devin Dixon with the sack. He used to play corner. Now he plays left outside linebacker for us. He does a great job. Come on. That halfback draw is killing us, but we still have him on third and six. Ryan Clayton, get out there and get the tackle for loss. All right, Jamari Brown. Let's get a nice kick return right here. I am so proud of this team right now. Oh my gosh, they gave us a big dot. The four verticals cheese was there for us. Now we're handing it off to Robert Burns. He's getting nowhere. And no, Jason Bean's out for a little bit. We can't really run the read option right now. We have to throw it with Corey Cottle. And we're just going to throw Robert Burns. His injury risk is low, but we're just going to wait until the next drive. I have to play it safe with him. He's our future. Oh my gosh. What a bad throw. I'm really hoping kicker Cam Newton has the leg for this this season. Come on, buddy. That looked completely short. I cannot believe that barely snuck in. But we hold on to our two possession lead, and we're stopping that all day. On second down, they're going with another run. And this time, it's getting a big gain. And they're going with another run. This time, we're locking it up. Nick Young with the tackle for loss. And now, on second and 13, they're handing it off again. The run is killing us. But I'm hoping we can get the stop on third and three. Come on, let's tackle Master Teague and hold them to fourth and two. Are they going to go with another run right here? Oh my gosh, come on. No way. First and 10, they're finally not running the ball. And look at that. We put them in a box the second they don't run it. On second and 10, here comes the run. Ryan Clayton with the hit. And now they have a third and 10 right here. Everything's in a box. Come on, Liam Demko. You've got to make a play on that. When you're in a zone like this, that is the one route you have to play. Now they're handing it off. And let's go. Webb's got the tackle. I got to say, they are burning through a lot of clock, running the ball down the field all over us. And we force a fumble. Jamari Brown picks it up. Oh my gosh. We are going to beat Ohio State. What a play. What a game. This is awesome. I am so proud of this team right now. We're putting everything in a box still. Nothing's really open. Actually, I did see a couple things wide open. And wow, they're getting a nice gain. I would love to hold them to just six points. I think that would really prove a point. Liam Demko with the sack. Third down, halfback screen. I got to get out there. I missed the tackle. Come on. All right, NKU. This is where we get our stop. Wow, great play call. I missed the tackle. Come on, we've got to bring him down. I really wanted to hold them to just six points. I'm starting to feel like that isn't going to happen. We did play a great game, though. Liam Demko. Oh, I couldn't get the sack. There isn't a better feeling than running the clock out against Ohio State. This is amazing. We get the huge win. Mason Bean did not have the best passing game or rushing game, but he did what we needed for the win. None of our receivers had an impressive performance either, but defense is what won us the game. Ryan Clayton led the team with eight tackles. Nick Young, Devin Dixon, and Liam Demko all had a sack, and Austin Hargrove forced that fumble that sealed the game for us. We've taken down back-to-back -back ranked schools, and I cannot believe how well we've started this season. Next week, we're going to take on our rivals at home, so I will see you all in the next episode.